Hi. Can I let you in on a secret? Big fish live right here in Northern Ontario. And we here at the new fly fisher love chasing them all over the province. And of course, letting them go. This big fish adventure starts right now on the new fly fisher. Ooh, that's a nice size fish. What? <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. The new Fly Fisher is brought to you in partnership with Destination Ontario, Orvis Fly Fishing, Scientific Anglers, Trout Unlimited, WeatherTech Canada. Northern Ontario is home to some absolutely giant fish. Species such as northern pike, brook trout, and of course, smallmouth bass all grow to enormous proportions here. Let's take a look at some of the giant smallmouth Bill Spicer and Mark Melnick caught and released at Birch Lake Resort near Thessalon, Ontario. Change over, a little bit of flash. You see in the tail? Looks about the size of the dace that are in here. So it's more like matching the hatch. But I want a little bit of flash just to attract them. We got uh, high sunshine, that should help. Should be cruising fish in here. That's what I liked about this. I got her. Good, Good fish job, on. It's a big fish. We're just passing a point here. And points you never ever pass up a point. Strong fish. Oh, that's a giant bill. Oh my. She is a tank. That is a big fish. <laughs> don't jump, don't jump, jump, jump. Today I'm using a number six weight fast action rod because uh, I'm pitching some heavier flies. The reel I got is has got a good drag on it, and that's because of exactly what's happening right now. You can get away with a spindle reel, but my recommendation is a, is a larger arbor and a good drag system. That's, that's the most important. Oh, what a big oh this is a tank. This is just a tank. Oh, Ooh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. I am so excited about this. Oh, my goodness. There it is, Clouser Minnow. My, oh my, that's a thick, heavy fish. Oh, wow. Yes, sir, yes, sir. What a tank, what a tank, and what a fight. Now, this is what's available on a budget in Ontario. Smallmouth bass to die for. This is absolutely fantastic. Awesome. <laughs> Congratulations, Bill. Fantastic <laughs> fish. Fun fishing with you, man. You believe that, Mark? Now, it's gonna be dwarfed by Mark's. But, oh my, Mark. Look at that. Oh my. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> Same what, time. What, what a trip. What a trip. What, what a trip. trip. Oh. Just north of Thessalon is Wakamoto Lake, home to Snowshoe Camp Resort and, of course, more giant smallmouth. Mark is joined by Mikey Metcalf and is guided by Adam Valley from Angling Algoma. Got her. 
Good stuff, Mark. Good stuff. Donkey. That's a donkey, Mark. That is a big fish. <clears throat> so once the, you get them on the reel, the reel is what allows you to effectively fight these fish. And uh, the drag is key. Oh my gosh, she's huge. What a big, oh, <laughs> smallmouth bass. This is a thrill of a lifetime, and this just made me the biggest bass I've ever caught. In this clear water. Yes! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Woo -hoo. What a fish. Oh, oh my goodness. I switched over to a clouser. Oh, look, I'm shaking. <laughs> Is that really a bass? It looks like a grouper. <laughs> it does look like a grouper. What an absolute thrill. <laughs> so, when you're on the hunt for pre spawn smallmouth bass, temperature is the key. And you may have to run and you may have to gun, but if you put your time in, you can catch giants just like this to get it back in the water. Adam had me thrown into the back, slowly stripping, and then dropping it off the ledge. We saw the fish roll up in behind it. We slowed down the presentation and smash. Big old smallie. It's exactly what we're keying in on right now. We're, uh, we're chasing water temps as much as we're chasing uh, habitat for smallmouth to be. So first we find the temps, and then we find the fish. Oh my gosh, it's a giant. That's a tank. That's an Algoma giant, buddy. That's there a you hug. Go. That's a hug right there. <laughs> That's welcome to Algoma, right? Oh there, my gosh. Welcome to Algoma. Oh my gosh. This is the reason we make the drives. Well, Mr. Metcalf, I have some good news for you. And what is that? What you may or may not know is that I am a IGFA uh, representative for, okay. for Canada. So I have the power to legitimize potential world records and to make sure that everything is done. That fish weighed in on a scale that needs to be verified by the IGFA at six pounds, three ounces, right? Okay. You've got 12 pound tippet on. Yep. I'm very happy to tell you that you have an unofficial smallmouth bass world record right here in Algoma. Congratulations. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. World record. Adam. I'm speechless. As you should look, you're shaking like crazy. I am shaking right now. There is little arguing that northern pike are one of the most violent fish in fresh water. In northern Ontario, they will willingly eat flies both subsurface and on top. Here, Colin McEwen is at Kasagami Lake Lodge on the hunt for these incredible water wolves. How does she feel? Feels pretty good. Yeah. It's hard to tell how big he is, so it's like quite an explosion. Yeah. Awesome. He's going out into deeper water, which is typical of the bigger fish. <laughs> so he's just inside the edge of these lily pads. And out here, got cabbage. Look at that. Look how far out he's gone. Oh. <laughs> Look at that bulge. <laughs> What's incredible about the fish here, unlike pike and other places, how thick they are. They obviously eat very well. They've got good genetics. Okay, here he comes. Come on, baby. Come to Robbie. Come to Robbie. Come to Robbie. Oh, yes, <laughs> baby. Oh, big Look baby. That. Look at that, that fish. Look at that. Look hog. at that. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? Look at that. Beautiful female. Inch. Look at the girth on that baby. Okay. Let's see what, 20 pounds, 25 pounds? Yeah. Okay. 20 to 25. 
That's precious, that. Look at that, honey. Look at that. Good job. Job well done. 41. 41. Now let's find 45. Yep, first. Brace Lake Outfitters on Brace Lake is well known to harbor giants. Here, Rebecca Red tangles with a giant on a fly. Oh. That was my third cast to that area. And bam, just took it. And you know you're into a good fish when they take your line out instantly. And you can't pick this rod up. It's an eight weight rod. Oh my goodness. What a beast. I'm holding my breath here, Kyle. Oh, just let him play him out. We'll get yep. him in. Yep. Hello. Okay. I'm gonna try. Just let here. him come. Okay. He doesn't like the neck. I'm getting a workout here. That's why you have a fighting butt on these rods. So you can kind of lean it into you and you can kind of pump the fish up when they're ready. So when their head is pointed down, typically means that they still have some good, good amount of energy and good fight left in them. So you just want to wait until they peek their head up out of the water and you can kind of guide them to the net. Most of the time you can get them in the net probably on the second or third try. These are hard fighting fish. Don't they just look like a big crocodile or an alligator? alligator. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't even lift it. There is no doubting that Northern Ontario is home to giant fish. Northern pike well over 40 inches really should be on every fly angler's bucket list. Aggressive, mean, and 100% fun on fly. The north shore of Lake Superior is well veined with tributaries that hold brook trout. The coaster population in the big lake is world class. Here, Jack Imhoff tangles with a great Bowman Island Lodge brookie. Five feet up upstream of the rock, right along the seam. Somebody told me I should try that. Nice feeling fish. It's been a real challenge fishing here. There's a big, slow swell going on, pushing us inshore. Very somewhat choppy. You have to be braced in order to be able to cast properly without falling out of the boat. But the fish are here. I haven't seen him yet. He hasn't come up. I just saw the white, the white leading edge of the fins. Whoa! Ho-ho! Yeehaw! Excuse my language. This guy's gonna take a few minutes to come in. There he is. Hi, buddy. Woohoo! Yowza! Now that, I think, is my fish of a lifetime for brookies. Now that. Is that your biggest brook trout? That's my biggest brook trout, bar none. Uh. Nipigan Coaster Brook Trout. This is what it's all about. This is an incredible fish. Icon of Lake Superior. Wow. <laughs> that was the biggest brook trout of my life and a coaster at that. Brook Trout in Lakes is a great way to target these incredible fish. Blue Fox Camp, just outside of Iron Bridge, Ontario, has access to a great number of brook trout lakes. Here, Lodge co-owner Pete Roberts and Colin McEwen tangle with a blue fox giant. So, that's fish. I'll see if I can slowly pull them out of here. That's a six-weight rod you're using, eh? Yeah. I'm oh, he's got in the weeds. I can see him from here. I can make an, I'm making some ground up, yeah. Look at that. So that's the second time we've had these brook trout go right into the weeds after the initial hit. Well, there he is right behind He's it. He's behind it. Okay, so bring it past me and then, oh yeah. The weeds are up on the leader knot. Oh, I got him. Oh, oh baby. <laughs> oh, mama. Give me five. <laughs> yeah. Look 
Here he goes. Well done. In Ontario's Albany River watershed sits Mimaniska Lodge, a fly-in brook trout destination. Here, Mark Melnick targets big fish with big foam bugs. Oh, this is oh, this is a good fish. This one's huge. Might be the big fish of the day. Oh, I guarantee you it's the big fish of the day. It came from right underneath that log. I placed the fly right there. Oh, Keith, are you kidding? And the crazy thing was that this fish took a swipe at the fly first and either refused it and a different fish came in or it said, eh, you know what, I'm hungry enough. <laughs> oh, that is a big fish. <laughs> I think this is the biggest fish of the trip, don't you? Yeah. Taking a look at that. <laughs> what a stud brook trout. That is unbelievable. The Sutton River is world famous for its big brook trout. Here, Colin McEwen is on the Sutton fishing mice patterns for these voracious fish. <sighs> How was it take? This feels like a good fish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I get this guy in the reel. This is a decent fish. Whoa! Oh, man. Oh, this is a big fish. Big fish coming right to my... Oh, I went right in the net. <laughs> when does that happen? Oh, wait till I show you this fish. Oh, there's the fly. Just came out. It's the beauty of the barbless. Okay. And I hope I can adequately show you this fish. Look at that. Beautiful. That's easily 20, 21, maybe, inches of male rainbow. Look at the colors. That absolutely gorgeous fish. The brook trout of Northern Ontario are truly something to admire. Absolute giants. Just east of Thunder Bay is like Nipigon. Here, Tyler Dunn guides Jeff Parks to one of Ontario's great brook oh, trout. That was a nice hit. Ah, you had that fly going really slow. Beauty. Really slow, just in amongst a little bit of a crevice. And it just came out of nowhere, and that's a nice fish. That is, man. Wow, that's, that's a thick fish. Again, that was on that clouser. That was unbelievable. What a beautiful colored up brook trout. This is where it was, this is why you come to Lake Nipicon. I can't even talk. That was my best brook trout to date. That was phenomenal. This past summer, Rob Heal got to fish another one of Mimaniska's incredible brook trout tributaries. Here, he gets into a great fish using one of his father's favorite flies. Joe's panther is a very old pattern that was introduced to my father back in the 60s and remains his favorite brook trout pattern. I've caught fish on it from Argentina to Labrador and on every brook trout stream that I've ever fished in between. 
it only made sense to try it here. Yep, it works. It works. Ooh, this is a colorful fish. This is a colorful fish. Ooh, yeah, that's it. Keep coming up here. Stay out of there. This is a colorful fish. Really pretty. This is probably a male. He's very bright. He's fighting hard too. If you're ever on the fence about coming to Northern Ontario to catch giants, I hope those big fish convinced you. Thousands of lakes teeming with trophies. Welcome to Northern Ontario. Well, that about does it for this episode of The New Fly Fisher. Thanks for watching. For more on our series, check us out at www.thenewflyfisher.com. Remember, adventure is out there. All you need to do is go and find it. And what better way than to do it with a fly rod in your hand? From all of us here at the show, my name is Mark Melnick. Thanks for watching, and hopefully one day we'll see you here in the waters of Northern Ontario. The new Fly Fisher is brought to you in partnership with Destination Ontario, Orvis Fly Fishing, Scientific Anglers, Trout Unlimited, WeatherTech Canada.